let me show you how we can access the WordPress website without having a username and password. This video for educational purpose. So we will learn here the ethical hacking. So here we go. So first we need to find the any WordPress website. So suppose that's my website tcbnew.xyz. You can see this is my website here, live website. Now, first of all, we need to know is this a WordPress website or not? Okay, so I'm going to use here the Weblizer Chrome extension that will tell you the website CMS. You can see this is telling me like this is a WordPress website. So you can download that Weblizer extension in Chrome. Now, we know that this website from the WordPress. So now we all know that if you want to log into WordPress website, so you need to just type here the WP dash admin and enter. And you can see you have a username and password option. Now, I don't know the username and the password. So first of all, I need to know the username. So I can try random like admin or user or anything, but I need some confirmation here. So how to know this? So for that, first of all, what we need to do here, tcpnew.xyz, then wp dash json forward slash then wp then forward slash and v2 and then users and once you type this after your domain this need i'll give you that in the description also or enter once you enter you will see that look like this now you can just click on the pretty print just check this and now you can see the id and the name so name means is our WordPress username. So now we all know that the WordPress username is the coding bus. Okay. Now we got the username. So now you can know any website's username. Suppose if they have the multiple users, so you will get to know the all users name list like ID1, ID2, ID3 like this. Okay. Now we know the username. Okay. Now how we can get a password now. So once we click on the WP admin here. Okay. Let's try WP admin. Now we know the username. Now we need to know the password. So how to know this? So we all know that mostly people use the common passwords. Okay. Or we can have the random password list from ChatGPT or any AI tool. Okay. And the, there are a lot of common password like 1234 password, WP admin, like this. Now we should have a list of this. Okay. So I already have one Python code. We are going to use that. Now we have completed here two steps. So the first one we have completed to know is this website is WordPress or not. Okay. So we know that the website built with WordPress CMS. Okay. Second step is we need to know the username of that WordPress website. Like how many users are there and their username. This is important. Now we all know that the username of this website. Now the third step is how to know the password. So for that, we're going to run here the one Python script. I'll give you that script in the description. So let me show you how we can do this. So open the VS code or any code editor and just paste that script. Okay. I'll give you that script. And here in this script, you need to change the name. Suppose my website name is tcbnew.xyz and I use the wp-login.php. Now suppose your website name is google.com. So you can just go here google.com or slash and then same as it is. You don't need to change anything here. Second thing you need to change is important is called password list. I just stored here only the six to seven passwords. You can store here around 10. You can store here thousand of passwords. Okay. So you can just have a list of their passwords from the chat GPT or any AI tool. Okay. Now what we need to do here, we need to run this program. Make sure you need to install the Python and Selenium in your system. Okay. So now let's click on run and just wait some second. And you can see this one is, and he's automatically trying. You can see the coding bus. We all know that the username. I already put here the username. You can see the username, the coding bus, because we know the user. Trying the coding bus and try. Oh, password is logged in. Let me check here. You can see the password 12 file, admin 123 file, but the 123456 password found. Fantastic. Finally, we have hacked the WordPress website. Let me just run. Let me just try. So the one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the password. Okay. Let me just try to click on login and done. Now we have successfully logged in into our WordPress website. In the next video, I'll show you 
how you can protect your website from all these hackings. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.